Hello everyone, welcome to a new disc golf video. Today I'm out here at Edwards Park and we're going to be practicing for the tournament, the second Star Series Prodigy event coming up. I'm going to be showing you guys my practice round, showcasing the course. Um, there's going to be two videos, one on the front nine, one on the back nine. So make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on so you're going to be able to see all of my future content. We're going to go ahead and play the front nine. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, hole one, 300 feet, par three. It's a bit breezy today. Um, I'm going to fender on a forehand. That whole right side brush is out of bounds. safe all right two off the first pretty good if this is your first time watching one of my videos I just want to welcome you to the channel uh, basically I post a lot of rounds uh, disc highlight videos tip videos stuff like that so if you want a place with consistent disc golf content, make sure to hit that subscribe button because uh, I post a lot out here. We did two off the first here on the first hole, so we had two good drives. Uh, the first one was with a Defender, second one was with a Gladiator. So hopefully we can start off strong. Alright, it's a par to start out, not too bad. Um, ideally, I want to birdie this hole. Uh, in the tournament, I'm looking to pick this one up. Um, I got the birdie last time I played a tournament here, so hopefully my drives are a little bit, little bit better in the tournament, because uh, you don't really want like a nervy tester putt on hole one, so hopefully we can hit, get a good drive next time. But yeah, par today. Hole two is a 340 foot par three uphill. Um, I've got a Raider. I'm gonna try to hit it on some hyzer through that left gap, have it slowly flip up and fade. Whoa. Not the gap I was going for, but it worked out. So I'm definitely not trying to get the birdie on this hole. Uh, I'm definitely playing for par, so not a bad drive. Go in. Oh my gosh. I was not trying to run it. Well, I was definitely closer to the basket, closer to the basket than I thought. I almost freaking dunked that for birdie, but. Sorry about that, a group let me play through and I was trying to create some separation, but we're on hole five now, back to even par. Um, this is one of the hardest holes in the course for me. It's a par three, 425 feet. It's a really interesting shape. I've got my Raider. I'm gonna try to forehand it, have it flip up a little bit, but ultimately come back left.
to be honest, not mad, too high. Um, I want to keep that lower so it doesn't fade super hard left like it did, but ultimately getting through that first row of trees, I'm happy. The definite play on this hole uh, for a righty is something like a distance driver uh, or a fairway driver, whatever you're comfortable with. Something that you can throw on some hyzer and have it slowly flip up, but have more stability so it doesn't flip all the way over. That's definitely the play on the hole. I try my best to replicate that with the forehand. Um, obviously, that was too high. I want to keep that a bit lower so that it doesn't fade extremely hard left like it did. Um, so I can stay close to the edge, pitch up, take a par. Um, definitely, I'm happy with the par on this hole, considering it's one of the hardest holes for me on the course. All right, guys, I do apologize. There really is no filming angle here. I'm kind of in the thorns. Um, I got an anvil. I'm going to try to toss it out and get a par. Woo. Yep, that's a putt. Let's go. Let's go. A three on this hole feels so good. Like, I'm definitely, that's the score I'm going for uh, in the tournament. All right, hole six, par three, straight through the gap here. Got my beat up Maverick. Just gonna try to get through it. Made it through the gap, didn't go. Let's try it. Try it back. All right. Definitely got two options on this hole through the Maverick and through the Bounty. Bounty's a bit more controllable uh, since it's a mid, but. I definitely think that the Maverick could get all the way down there. It probably is all the way down there. Um, but, you know, with that stability, it's kind of hard to control the angles. So, who knows? Depending on where these discs end up, kind of determines what I'm going to go with for the tournament. But, we'll kind of see. At the time I'm recording this video, I've still got a lot of time before the tournament. Definitely, like, two, three weeks. So, but when you guys see this tournament... <laughs> There's not too much time before it, so. Let's see where these ended up. Hopefully they're pretty good. Well, I know what I'm doing on this hole because there's the bounty right there, there's the basket, the Maverick is right there, and there's the basket, so. I'm definitely gonna go with the bounty. More controllable play, and it ended up in similar spots. So, I'll play from the Maverick though since I threw it first. Well, that sucked, but it was good. I'm parked for park. Oh, so bad. Perfect drive almost. Landed right behind a tree. Straddle. Good putt. And then just like a 30 foot roll away. So it's all right. Just a practice round. Nothing too major. Um, this hole, we'll see what we got. Get off of that. Come on. Yes. Yes. Dude, that was literally perfect. This shot looks to be one of the most simple shots on the course, but it's really not. It's kind of, again, that slowly flip up shot. For me, I gotta go with my beat in harp. I gotta hit it on hyzer, have it flip up and miss that tree just like it did. Um, that was ideal, so 
we'll see where it ends up. You know, I've played this course a decent amount of times, but I never pure the drive just like that. So we'll see how good that actually was. Well, I threw pretty much the perfect drive and it's still like 40 short, but I do kind of have a free run because I've got some trees as, as my back stop here. So we're gonna give it a good run. Not a bad par. Um, we kind of got. I kind of got to figure out what I want to do because the harp. I mean, that played pretty perfect, but it ended up so short. So we'll see if maybe like a felon would play well on this hole. I'll have to practice next time I come. All right, hole nine. Just a dead straight shot. Nothing in the way. Ooh. Oh, I thought I aced it. This is definitely another hole. You're looking to birdie in the tournament, for sure. It's just right there. That puts me even par through the front nine. Not terrible, a lot of missed opportunities. Definitely would like to be under par through the front nine, but you know, sometimes you can't get what you want. So uh, not bad. We'll go ahead, go into the back nine. That video will come out in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yay!